What's up everyone, this is Sly for King here, and today you join me for another one of my Yu-Gi-Oh! Booster Box openings, where today I'm going to be opening up the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! 25th Anniversary Rarity Collection 2 box. So, um, two things to say off the bat. Firstly, um, if you may notice, uh, so this is the European version, because I've noticed some of the US versions have more of the um, Japanese-style booster box which is like more, uh, it's thinner, but it's higher. So yes, just want to, uh, just want to say that just in case, uh, America, the U S market does not have the, I guess what we'd refer to as a classic boost box design. Um, second thing is I've seen some negative comments about this set online. Uh, the fact that it's, sorry, the fact that it's probably not as good as the first one. Um, it does have some, it does have some cards, which I do like, uh, so that might be a personal thing, but uh, everyone, obviously everyone has their own opinion. Uh, but is it a bad set? Um, I wouldn't say so, but maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe it's, per maybe it's personal preference. Okay, so... Uh, so just a quick thing, uh, so you get more cards per pack than last time, so you get... So now you get uh, uh, nine foil cards instead of five from the last one. So you got two secrets, two, <clears throat> I think it's two secrets, four ultras and three supers. And so that basically gives you a better chance. It gives, gives you like ultimates, uh, collectors, extra secret rare, uh, sorry, platinum secret rare and tw uh, quarter century. Right. So mystical space stuff in. Blue eyes, <coughs> excuse me. Blue eyes jet dragon, uh, Trisha. So those are uh, super rares. <laughs> ah, rescue rabbit. This now this one does take me back to when I first started uh, like opening Yu Gi Oh packs because um, it was Photon Shockwave roughly about that time and Rescue Rabbit was the secret rare. So for me that's quite nostalgic. Access Code Talker. That's uh, probably always a decent one to get. I'd say. Uh, then we have uh, the Ancient and Ascent. Uh, primitive planet and mind control and trap trick tra trap tricks reflesia. I always struggle to pronounce that. Just double checking. Yeah, so though all those are standard ultras. Um, is that now? Is there any cards which I've quite like as a quarter century? Um, personally, I think maybe Blue Eyes Jet Dragon would be a nice one to get. Yeah, so there's uh, Raiko Skill Drain. Oh, we've got. Oh, we've got a double, it looks like. So we've got Ultimate Slayer. So the first one, we've got Unchained Soul of Raid. So this is the Japanese ultra, uh, Ultimate. Um, after opening the first rarity collection, I think I do generally prefer the Japanese Ultimate more than the Collector. Oh, wow, we've got a very good pack. Uh, so then we have Trishula, Dragon on the Ice Barrier, as a Collector Rare. And then behind it, we've got something. We've got... Uh, super nimble mega hamster as a quarter century so yeah so that's a pretty good pack right there so we've got heretic seal uh pearly and cosmic cyclone okay so it looks like the order was a bit different so yeah so we've already got um a gonna try and spread them out a bit better there we go so that was a really good pack right there getting we nearly had a full set of Ultimate, Collector, Quarter Century, and any more missing is Extra Secret Rare or Platinum. Extra Sisters. Oh, we've got something again. Chaos Hunter, Trap Tricks, uh, Enemy Controller as a secret, uh, Psychic and Punisher, uh, Ghost, Mourner, and Moonlight Chill, Enemy Controller, X Packs, and. Oh, okay, I thought we, thought we had a shiny border. I guess not. Uh, Exceed Encore. But uh, Psychic Game Punisher, I think, is a, de is a decent uh, reprint. Also, I've just put those in the wrong place, but there we go. Yeah. Um, I will say some people were a little bit a little bit surprised that we didn't get a reprint of Trident Dragion, but it has been confirmed for the Megatins. Uh, so, yeah. So, enemy controller. Hey, Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. Uh, I think this is currently on the ban list, if I'm correct. So, um... We'll see if it comes off. Uh, we've got something, I think. Hey, Magician Souls as well. So 
This is probably, I'd say, one of the biggest reprints in the set because Magician's. So I keep getting all my words wrong. So Magician's Souls has been reprinted. It's been printed, I think, three times now, but it's still quite an, quite a uh, valuable card. So yes. Oh, Psychic and Punisher as a ultimate, and we got Exceed Encore as a extra secret rare. So, so yeah. So this is the extra secret rare. Basically, it just goes for the entire card. And speaking of Magician Souls, we got the Secret Rare version. Along with, so, Anti-Spell Fragrance and Phantom Lights. So I noticed that the high rarity cards are further towards the front. Uh, yeah, if you've got a normal pack, it's three Supers at the front, then two Secrets, and then four Ultras. TG Hyper Librarian, Drew and Lockbird, uh, Extra Emergency Teleport, and, oh, Pertly as a 25th. Oh, and extra uh, emergency teleport as a uh, extra seeker rare. So then we got gold sarcophagus, heretic seal of the heavenly spheres, foolish burial, and abominations prison. So yeah, it's quite good so far. I'd say. I mean, emergency teleport as a as a platinum, but as a yeah, as an extra secret. Looks quite nice. Charge of Light Brigade, Solemn Warning, Psychic Game Punisher, Forbidden Lance, and Fusion Deployment. That's probably a decent secret rare to get. Solomon Strike, always good to get those. Blue Eyes Jet Dragon, another one. Uh, Abyss Dweller, and we've got Trap Tricks. I would quite like, um, i tell you what would be quite funny if I ended up pulling a quarter century of Red, of, uh, Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, because that was the first quarter century I ever pulled. Where do you know that was a starlight? Oh, uh, Pearly. And we got Unchained Soul of Rage. Is that our... Oh, no. So this one is... This one's Collector Rare. I like the first one. So that's our second Collector. Mind Control. Rescue Cat as the alternate art. Oh, uh, Phantas Fantastical Dragon. Phantasmi. Mystical Space Typhoon. And Silo Frame Omega. I've put them in the wrong place again. Sorry about that. Hmm. So, yep. Cosmic Cyclone, uh, uh, Exceed Encore, number 60. Uh, I can't remember if we've had this before. Charles of Light Brigade, uh, Preparation of Rights, Brawl Ode Dragon, Anti Spell Fragrance. Okay, I'm probably going to start um, skipping through some of the regular secrets and ultras now, unless it's quite noteworthy. Um, we haven't had Illusion of Chaos yet. Oh, there's the, re there's the regular. DD Crow, Brawler Dragon, and we've got... Oh, okay, we've got uh, Wings of Resonant Life as a ultimate. And we've got behind it, Skullmeister as a platinum. Then we've got Solemn Strike, Skill Drain, Guardian Chimera, I haven't seen that one yet, and another Skullmeister. So yeah, I would like to at least pull one Illusion of Chaos. Oh, Appaloosa. Uh, yeah, so I, I forget if IP Masquerade is in here as well. I forget that. So I can get Punisher, Nimble Hamster. Oh, Ultimate Slayer, haven't seen that one yet. Rescue Cats. Twin Twisters. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start moving the alt. I'm gonna start moving the ultras to the side of this, right? Because I keep, I keep putting them over there. I mean, it's probably not relevant for this video, but yeah. Drone Lock Bird again. Uh, Skill Drain. Oh, Mystical Space Typhoon. That's a collector rare. Oh, that looks really nice, actually. Um. Now, I did say that I am more partial to the Ultimate Rare, but I think there are some cards which just look really nice as the Collector. I mean, that looks really nice. So, hey, and uh, and right behind it is our first Illusion of Chaos. That's nice. Oh, Bingo Machine Go, first one of those. And Blue Eyes, oh yeah, I forgot about this one. Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. This is probably going to be one of the more sought-after cards, definitely as a high rarity. That's for sure. Because, it's yeah, it's Blue Eyes Ultimate. So like Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. So, yeah. But that's that's a guaranteed free in every Blue Eyes deck. Twin Twisters. 
Silent Frame Omega. Ooh, anti spell fragrance as a ultimate. Oh, Book of Moon as a collect as a quarter century. Oh, there's IP Mascarina. So I thought I thought she was in here. Uh, there's Trishula, Book of Moon, and my friend Pearly. So that's the first half of the box. I'm gonna say not too bad so far. I've got. Uh, on average, I've got three of each type of rarity, with the exception being the ultimate, which I've got four. But I wouldn't mind taking more ultimates. Oh, speak of the devil, rescue cat, book of eclipse. Oh, so, uh, so this is psychic and punisher as a collector. Skullmeister, book of eclipse, chaos hunter, and phantom knights. Break sword. I don't think we've seen those two yet. I will say, by the way, I do have a second box of this because, yeah, uh, yeah, just because uh, I thought this was going to be good fun. Underworld Goddess. Uh, so then we've got Forbidden Lance as a ultimate. Nice. Anti Spell Fragrance as a collector. And uh, Guardian Chimera as a 25th. Oh, Blue Eyes Jet as a secret. Oh, Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. Haven't seen that one yet. So yeah, there's, there is definitely a lot of Blue Eyes cards in here, but yeah, there's definitely quite a few Blue Eyes cards. Another one, Rescue Rabbit. Uh, Primitive Planet, that's a ultimate. Oh, Exorcisters, I uh, haven't seen that one yet. Uh, Soul and Luna, I think that's actually supposed to be a pretty good reprint. Uh, so we've also got the Striking Dragon. And Chain Sonder Road. Oh, another one. Blue's Burial. And we've got uh, Abomination's Prison as a extra secret. Solomon Strike as a regular. Forbidden Lance. Charge of the Light Brigade. Rescue Cat again. I'm not sure how many. I think I pulled two Magician Souls if I'm correct. I would. I, it's not essential because I do have the Magician Souls I need. But it would be nice to. Oh, first one of. Sorry. First one of those, the Jester of Despair. Uh, Despair. Uh, Diddy Crow. Then we have Skill Drain. Uh, Pearly. Then we got. Oh, number 38. Our first one of those, too. That's always a decent mon uh, number of monsters to have. Yeah, I only have all the Magician Souls I need because uh, I got them from the Legendary Duelist Season 2, I think it was. Yeah, so, but yeah, I wouldn't mind. Oop. <laughs> Trap Tricks, Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, number 38. Oh, number 60 as a uh, collector. And we've got, hey, Trap Tricks for Fusia. Okay, I'll definitely tell you that because as a person that uh, plays Trap Tricks, this is probably one of the main ones, so... Yeah, I'll, I will take... Oh, wow! Okay, we got a double. Okay, I didn't know that was doable. Well, I guess, I guess technically it is, but... Yeah, so uh, I have not seen that yet. Uh, that's the... So that's both uh, 25ths in Heretic Seal of the Heavenly Spheres and Traptix of Fusia. Wow, okay, that's a very good pack right there. I mean, obviously, it would have been, like, maybe slightly better if that was, like, Magician Souls and Illusion of Chaos, but I'm not complaining about, uh, I'm not complaining about that. <laughs> Tall on Judgment. Hey, Bingo, Bingo. <laughs> There's so many good ones. Bingo Machine Go as a as a collector rare. Oh, Silent Magician. Oh, yeah, so... Silent Magician and Silent Swordsman were reprinted in here as well, and that's our first one of that. Skullmeister. Yeah, I forgot those were in here. Ghost Ogre. So yeah, some people say, like, this is not as good as the first one. Um, I'm definitely enjoying this set, and it does... For me, it does have some good reprints. Maybe not quite as good. I think staple-wise, maybe the other one was better, because you had, I think, you had... Pot of Prosperity, Pot of Duality. No, Pot of Duality is in the Cersei. Blue Spirit, Summer Warning. Number 60 is an Ultima this time. 
Oh wait, no, that's our first double. Uh, okay. Oh, enemy controller is the 25th. That's nice. Definitely getting quite a few of number 60 for some reason. Rescue rabbit. Oh, I haven't seen that one yet. The blazing dragon. So I think you had lightning storm. You had... Yeah, you had lightning storm. You had pot of extravagance, pot of prosperity. Or oh, poly, first one of those. Uh, so I guess the first set probably was better for staples. Solomon Warning is a collector, nice. Solomon Warning is a seeker as well. Anti spell fragrance, definitely don't mind those. Drew and Lockbird. Um, so yeah. So yeah, I'll probably say that the first one is better when it comes to staples, but I'm still having a, a real, I'm still having a fun time opening this. And I've got another box lined up actually. Ghost Ogre. Oh, Magician Souls as a extra secret rare. Nice. So that's the place of Magician Souls. Number 38. Uh, oh, there's uh, Apolloso again. Can't remember if both artworks are in here or not. The Silent Magician. Gunning Chimera. Drew Unlock Bird as an ultimate. Very nice. Trap Trick Cephalia, Book of Moon. Oh, finally, an Illusion of Chaos. Wow, that took a while to get one. Okay, so, yeah, I finally got one of them. Okay, so last pack. Um, as far as I'm aware, I think the only card I haven't pulled from the set, I believe, is Silent Swordsman. Uh, I might be wrong, but I think that's the only one now which I haven't seen. Yeah, like I said, I could be wrong, but I think that's the only one left. Oh, there's Paul. Sorry, there's Paul Duality. Oh, anti spell fragrance as the 25th. And, and we end off with Pearly. So, overall, I have to say that was a really. That was a fun opening. Uh, I don't really care what people say about the set. I definitely had a fun time opening this. Um, I'm not going to go through the supers, ultras, and secrets. Uh, because, um, yeah, that might take a while. So I'll quickly flick through the Ultimates, Collectors, Extras, Secrets, and the 20th. So for the Ultimates, I've got Drew and Lockbird. Uh, two copies of number 60, which is intriguing. Uh, definitely double check. Oh, no, that is Collector. Okay, I thought he was. I thought that was a bit odd. Uh, so then we've got Primitive Planet, Forbidden Lance, Anti-Spell Fragrance, uh, Wings of Resonant Life, Psychic and Punisher, and Unchained Soul of Rage. Then for the Collectors, we got number 60, Solemn Warning, Bingo Machine Go, Anti-Spell Fragrance, Psyche and Punisher, Mystical Space Stuff in, which I'm definitely very happy about that one, Untrained Swan Rage, and Trishula. Just trying to see if there's... Okay, this is a little bit of an ultimate. So then for the Extra Secrets, we got Magician's Souls, Ab Abomination's Prison, Skullmeister, Emergency Teleport, and Exceed Encore. I think overall, actually, Extra Secret is the one I think we pulled the least of. And then for our 25ths, we got Anti-Spell Fragrance, Enemy Controller, Trap Tricks for Flesia, uh, Heretic Seal, which I pulled both of these in the same pack, Garden Chimera, Book of Moon, Pearly, and Super Nimble Mega Hamster. So, yes... Um, I'd say definitely a um, definitely good start, and like I said, I do have another box lined up. So that has been a, that has been my first opening of a Yu-Gi-Oh 25th anniversary rarity collection two booster box. If you enjoyed this opening, then please make sure to like this video and subscribe to know when the newest openings will be coming out. Hope you've enjoyed, and for now, this is Life King signing out.